Hello everyone, welcome back to the course. In this video, we will talk about what are the various functions which are related to an a string and uh, how we can effectively use when to use these functions. So these are the 14 functions that I have outlined. I have listed over here. There are many more functions and I haven't listed those because these are the main functions that we always use in our day to day developer life. So the very first function is length which is going to tell what is a length of your a string then we have got slice slice is going to give you a particular part of an a string from a starting a string uh, from a starting character to the ending character these are the number values that we need to provide suppose that here for example we have got let a string these are the root names we say that slice from minus 12 to minus 6 when we define these parameters as a minus this is going to start counting from end if we define these parameters as a positive this is going to start counting from starting so we will see these two as well then we have got sub string this is also a sort of similar to the slice but the end parameter is the number of characters that we want sorry this is also similar but the difference is that it cannot accept negative indexes that means we cannot have index like this it will always have a positive index then we have got sub str here we say that a string which a string we wanted to have sorry start index what is going to be the starting number and we have got length this is going to be define the length of your sub string what is going to be the length which will be returned after sub string we will see the demo as well then we have got replace two upper case two lower case we have got concatenate we've got trim pad start pad end split index of last index of starts with ends with and includes so let's quickly jump into the console and see the demo for all these functions so i have created the a string here which whatever we have seen in the demo uh, in our presentation we've got str so we'll start with the length so we'll say that str dot length it is saying that this string have 19 characters that is what we have got 19 over here now if you wanted to have str dot slice say that we wanted to start from number 6 and we are going to end to number 12 so it is going to start from the 6 and it is going to give you the character from like up to 12 no matter what is going to be the outcome so if you see here it is Saying that banana it is not even giving us the complete because it has started from six even if you have started from fifth or six to sorry let's quickly start from six to 13 so we will see that we have got banana which is the complete character and then we have got some sort of space behold before that as well which is coming from here and this str dot slice is going to return a new string that means this string will remain intact there will be no changes nothing you can use this string for any other purpose as well similarly what we have seen is we have seen if you are trying to have a value from minus 6 minus 12 it is going to start counting from the end that is what we have seen this time it is giving us banana if you try 1 2 3 5 and then we have got 6 it is going to start counting from here till here which is going to have 12 so when we say that minus it is going to start from end when we say that positive it is going to start from a starting point now we have got sub string so we have got sub string which is going to have the method so we'll say that let's quickly we wanted to have from 6 to 16 it is going to say that banana over uh, colon and then k from the kiwi that is what we have got we cannot provide the a string uh, in the negation negation that was we have seen if you try to have 16 a uh, minus 16 it is not going to take any other parameter it is just going to return whatever the starting point that you have given so you have given six it is going to give you the six letters from the starting that is why it is not it is ignoring the second parameter which is saying that it is a negation number similarly when we have got sub str when we say that okay we are going to have the starting from six and we are going to have a character from 5 so what it is going to do is it is going to start from number 6 and then it is going to give you the 5 letter uh, 5 letter for a string it is always going to be the 5 letter of your a string okay 
Now, if you say that, okay, we are going to have 45 or 34, it is going to give you the 34 characters. If you have that much in your string, it is going to return 34. But when we talk about substring, it is going to give you the string between these characters, between 6 to 16, that means 10 or 11 characters. Similarly, you have got for the slice as well. So this is about a very simple like your we have got slice, we've got substring, we have got sub str. Next, we have got replace character. Okay. Suppose that we wanted to replace this banana with some other fruits. Okay. So what we will do is we'll say that str.replace. We need to provide sorry, it is not replace, it is going to replace. Yeah. We need to provide what we wanted to replace, then we need to provide which we wanted to replace. Okay, so we'll say that we wanted to replace with this. Now, if you say we have got str and you try to hit enter, it is also going to give you the new string. Again, if you see it is it has replaced, but it is giving you the new string, and your original string is again remaining intact. If you have say that you have got new str and you say that you have got str dot replace, let's copy from here. Now, if you say new str. Then you will say you will get exact whatever you have here you have after replaced. Okay. Now there is one more thing. If you say that you've got you are trying to replace here, you've got uh, we have the banana here in the original string. Okay. Now here what we wanted to have. Suppose that we say that we have got a small b and we want we wanted to replace. It is not going to replace. Why? Because this is having a small b and in our original string it is having a capital b so if you wanted to do that how we will do this so for for doing this we are going to put forward slash like before the string and then we will put i which is saying that equal ignore case and now if you see here it has actually replaced whatever banana we have seen uh, given no matter whatever the character or we say that cases are it can be like this Suppose that we say that it can have banana, you can have like capital, and even if you say it is going to replace, so this is going to be ignore whatever the case you have, it is going to replace, it will find the word and it will replace that with the word. Similarly, if you are trying to have, if you have some multiple, say that you have got multiple words, same words, we say that we have got three times. Of banana here, and we say that a string dot replace, and this is the one we have got. Okay, the first one, and we try to replace instead of a small b, we first need to give the capital B, and then we hit enter. So, what it did is it only replaced the first one, whatever the first one it find, it did replace. So, for that, what we have is we have two things either we can have like we say that okay, we have got z, which is going to have the regular expression, and you can hit enter. So wherever it will find this word, it is going to replace with the word that you have given on the other hand, on the replace text. There is one more which is saying that replace all. You, you can try to use that as well. And it will replace wherever you find this word, it is going to replace with this particular keyword. Now, what is like if you wanted to have an equal ignore case, you can use replace all and then use the uh, use the regular expression for forward slash forward slash and i which we have seen and it is going to replace with all the characters and then what we have is the other thing is that we have got two uppercase it is going to make every single letter as uppercase for our string if we say that on the vice versa we say that okay str dot two lowercase then it is going to replace into the lowercase and where like these also these are the two important Methods of our a string. The reason is that sometimes you have two different a strings and you wanted to do do the comparison. You don't know what is there in the first a string. You don't know what is there in the second a string. Suppose that this is a very simple. We are talking about say that we have got apple and you wanted to do the comparison. As you say that you have got apple. Ideally, these should be returning as a true, right? But what it what it does return? It usually return false. You can see here it hasn't printed anything, okay. But what if you wanted to have? We can say that okay, let's quickly convert both the string to two lowercase. No matter, even if the other hand uh, other hand side a string is having two lowercase itself. So we are going to convert both the string to the lowercase, 
and we'll hit enter and this time we will see console.log is hello so similarly instead of converting to lower case you can convert it to the upper case as well so these are the two other methods then we have got trim method which is going to have suppose that you have some sort of a string so that suppose that we have got new string which is having some sort of space at the end and then in the starting as end as well so what trim method does is you can say that new str dot trim if you do this it is going to remove the space from the starting and from the end and whatever the spaces are there in between it is going to leave those spaces and it will not do anything with that so this is also one thing a uh, one method that we we usually use in the development life now let's quickly talk about two methods which are pad start and pad end suppose that we've got a string we say that name num1 we have got 0 5 or we say that 5 okay now i wanted to put something over here like put some characters say that i wanted to put some asterisk three or four asterisk before this string so what we will say is we'll say that num dot pad start okay and how many characters our string should be let's say that our string should be of maximum five characters and what are going to be the characters which we wanted to have before that actual string so we will say that star what it is going to do is it is going to put four star before that string you see here we've got four star this is very important whenever you wanted to display the credit card numbers in the form of masking you have a 16 digit credit card so you have a 16 digit card and you wanted to mask the first 12 digit cards uh, sorry first 12 digit of your cards how you can do that you can use either pad start or you can use pad end so pad end is the difference so you can say that p a d e n d and you say that okay you wanted to have a string of five letters and what are going to be the next letters so you can say asterisk and it is going to append these asterisks after that okay so again we say that we have got cc which is going to have a 16 digit letters so this is our credit card number okay and then what we need to have let's quickly have a uh, we need these last four digit right so what we will have to do is we will say that we say that last four okay sorry last four and what we will say that we we say that cc dot slice okay and what we need we need last four digits so we'll say that minus four as a slice so that we can get last four now what we will say that we'll say that okay you wanted to have last four dot pad start because these are the four digits that we have got now what is going to be the maximum length so we'll say that cc dot length and what is going to be the character that we are wanted to fill it we will say that okay this is the asterisk now you have got this credit card format that you wanted to display if you wanted to display some sort of cross sign that means which is x you can have that x as well over here like this or if you wanted to have some sort of regular expression you can use like this okay so this is like the pad start and pad in which is also an important methods that you have seen over here for using the string then there is one thing which we have got like uh, we have got just uh, we have got index of we have got last index of we have got uh, similarly we have got uh, yeah it starts with and ends with so we've got index of last index of starts with and it ends with so what index of does is suppose that you are trying to have say that index of and you say that banana so what it is going to do is it is going to find the first index that means first occurrence of this keyword this word and it is going to return the position wherever this particular banana is in the string this is going to give you the positive number if it is found if it doesn't found it says that negative number you wanted to have this let's say that banana 2 it is going to give you the negative number so we can also say that this is one of the method which you can use in the string to search a particular keyword and when we talk about last index of instead of index of what it is going to do is it is going to have is going to find the last occurrence of this particular keyword and it is going to give you the index where that particular keyword is there in a string again if, if it doesn't found it is going to return a minus one which means it is not found anything this is about last uh, index of and last index of then we have got starts with sometimes in our 
a real time what we have to do is we have to find say that if that particular a string is starting with a particular sub string then do this particular logic if it is not starting then do this particular logic and similarly we have got ends with so we say that if that is particular string is ending with a particular keyword that means we need to perform this or we need to follow this route or we need to follow that route so these are some a basic information about your uh, uh, string starts with and ends with so these are some of the uh, string methods that we have and that are very helpful for us one thing before we go ahead is something that i would like to show you is suppose that we have got a variable called num1 which is 23 and then you have some uh, string and you wanted to use this uh, string uh, use this number inside an uh, string how you can do this you can use punctuation marks which we say that which is uh, basically uh, going to be in your keyboard left to the number one and you can say that this is just a simple and now here if you wanted to use your string what you need to do is you need to use your dollar sign curly braces and then say num and then hit enter then this time if you say str it is going to say that this is a simple 23 if you wanted to use any variable inside an a string you can use a punctuation a punctuation uh, syntax and then put your a string and with the help of a dollar sign and curly braces you can use whatever your a string uh, whatever your variable is even it can be your a string it can be your uh, number format or it can be anything and this is known as a string interpolation so this is if you see some sort of syntax somewhere written in your JavaScript in your lightning web component you don't need to panic you just need to uh, say that okay this is a variable which is being used inside this particular string so this is it for this video thank you for your time and we will meet into the next video